What up, y'all? We wanted to take a look at the brand new Cyberpunk 2077 update, the 1.5. See what it was like. Basically, in this video, you're going to watch me and my boy Nuclear Convoy on the call as we go and cop all the new apartments available in Night City in the Cyberpunk 2077 1.5 update release. And you'll see a couple little things along the way as my dude breaks down the release notes a little bit. And I proceed to go ahead and play the game a little bit. All right, here comes the gameplay. Yeah, I'm just giving you details, buddy. Uh, so you've already seen that you can customize your appearance in the mirror. On top of the fact that you can customize your appearance in the mirror, there's actually new hairstyles, new makeup styles, new stuff in the character creation menu. Uh, also, I mentioned to you on, uh, you know, uh, Messenger earlier, how at the end of the Stream. They played the lyrics included version of Archangel, which is one of the songs that has not been released on Spotify, does not cycle through on the radio previously while playing the game. Oh so it looks gosh. like there may oh, be a new text. Texts song are coming in. I feel like I'm getting all the flavor text that I just did, would have gotten previously. Right. <laughs> Where the fuck um, is the crib? The crib is here. Yeah, so. We head him back to the crib. That's a cool car. What? That's a cool looking car. Yeah, this one costs a lot of money. It's either the hidden car oh. or the one I spent 180 grand on. And all the cars now cost. They reduce the price on the cars so you can Ooh. actually get more of them. Driving in Cyberpunk. For my YouTube, this part oh, I'm doing a little You may want to go game. into first person mode. Oh, how they do I do that? First person driving mode works. Good call. I don't know what they changed here, but it was always so disorienting. Shut up. Uh, they the made game. it so that it's easier to see out of the cars. Oh, he's like They increased your field of vision. They have. Change the way in which cars and drivers interact with other traffic. I am so, doing absolutely terrible. Wow, I'm getting a lot of quests, everyone. If y'all see it, like, popping in. Okay, I can't do this. I can't drive like this. <laughs> I'm gonna just have to accept the fact that I'm a freaking god awful driver. That's cool that I yeah, keep yeah. getting all of these fucking text messages. So, this is cool content to just show how much got added to the game because I'm gonna upload this part of the video to YouTube. Um, just all without like this intro, just we're gonna load up from when we start. It's gonna be a very abrupt start. I might record an intro after. But, yeah, um, so there's two new weapons. Oh there my gosh, dude. It feels good to have a, the freedom to drive where you want, eh? Yep, yeah, there's a yeah, power okay. assault rifle and a power submachine. There's that name, the Umbra and the Guillotine. There's four new different types of go. Uh looks like 10 different muzzle brakes, which are basically silencers, uh, silencer attachments. Oh my Except gosh, now dude. there's ones that are designed to make it so that your ricochet shots are more effective and you have better like ricochet power weapons. Ah. So there's more options for you to use than just silencer. What other guns do I have? I don't even have any weapons equipped. That's kind of the trunk of your car should. I mean, I have weapons. I don't even meet requirements of shit now. Perk required, edge runner, artisan. You can't just be using shit right away? Okay. Nope. <laughs> Y'all be watching this? There's new perk requirements, people of the internet. Um, <laughs> it's also because they de perked you. Like, all your perks mm -hmm. have been unassigned. Premature discharge. Shut up, Skippy. This never happened. Hey, shut up, So now we're doing the end game return to the house just to see what it looks like before we um, put the effort into going back into the game proper. We're equipped with Skippy. 
Oh my gosh. Oh, it's all the people telling me I like earn their fucking love and respect. Look at that. These are all text messages I'm not gonna read now for the sake of spoilers, but stuff that's coming in from all the people. Yep, because you completed like all their quests previously. That's what it is. I'm basically getting all this stuff. Um, that's nifty. Don't make trouble. Let's see. Uh, with combat AI, so there's a section that on the patch notes they detailed as living city, uh, which details how they have made efforts to make the scope of life in Night City feel more dynamic and uh, more alive, as they call it. You still hear me? Yeah, I'm listening. Cool. So, they got uh, multiple fixes and improvements to NPC melee and ranged combat AI uh, reactions. So, uh, Man, your enemies so are supposed to be... Whoa, my other character is slow by comparison to this version. <clears throat> I don't know what I have <laughs> equipped, but that was a boogie. Yeah, ready? Um, yeah, ready for this? Do, 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 do. Let's go to so sleep. Let's see what happens with with infected V. They uh, made multiple improvements to. Bro, I'm releasing this video. If memberment, if I have to. The people watching and checking this video after it's that casual here. Come check us twitch.tv slash behind that suit. But yeah, this, this part. Oh, uh, so like when you're killing enemies, they'll be dismembered differently. Um, when you're fighting enemies, they're going to respond in more intelligent tactical ways. So they'll be less simple to outsmart. Are there any, like, new person modification <clears throat> things, or is it just, like, the same shit and you can just revisit it? Uh, new what modification? Like, appearance options. Yeah, yeah, there's new options. There's new hairstyles, new makeup styles. I'm not gonna go through all that now, unless, yeah, I want me to in the future. <laughs> but no, I don't really want to. <laughs> Look at that outfit. <laughs> yeah, so none of my shit is on the wall. That's okay. Uh, really what we're here to check out is the computer and the net. Oh, messages. Uh, so, enemies are now much better at Aww. blocking and evading Adam attacks from slow motion. <gasps> there is a new spot right here. So, for y'all checking it out, this is the real hot deal that everybody really be caring about. This is the new stuff that we can cop. So we can cop a crib in north side. Cop the crib. We can cop the crib. You can also just like town. wander over. Yo, let's let's like look at this. Some want their home to be a perfect safe haven. Mm. They're calm amidst the storm of a bustling city life, an oasis of tranquility and harmony. But you and I both know oases don't come cheap. This apartment's for the rest of us. It was five thousand. What does it offer? Only everything you could possibly desire. So we got the shit place. You got four walls, a couple of windows, a bed, a desk, and a private bathroom room. If you ask me, how many arises from a lack of superfluous things, from a minimalist, cost-optimized way of life? Imagine unbolting and stepping out your front door to a quiet inner courtyard. The gunshots of those male strong freakazoids fading to the soothing pop, pop, pop of bubble wrap. That's how Northside does tranquility. Bob, easy estates. Fair. So cheap ass one thing outside. I want to bring up that's really cool to me is they yep. got a section in the patch notes that indicates further diversification of melee and ranged combat behavior for different factions nice so, so we'll get uh, different combat different, styles based on the people we fight fire yeah based on what gangs they are not just like the same copy paste thing so they define them as five different categories reckless aggressive, balanced, defensive, and cautious. So the different gangs are going to have different attitudes towards how they I fight. bet Maelstrom's aggressive. <clears throat> but yo, let me I bet you they're fuck. reckless. Maelstrom's probably reckless. Mm. Let me read um, these other like real estate things. There's three more stills, right? So Japantown is the next one. And I guess those are both pretty north, eh? Uh, an antique fan buzzling, clicking faintly above you. And this one's 15k, so big upgrade. 
uh, uh, blinds that open and close usually most of the time sound like heaven on earth true more like your new home this cozy little crib in japan town is a true haven for lovers of authentic kitsch kish come in make yourself comfortable feast your eyes on a one-of-a-kind vintage chick chunks and immerse yourself in the unique atmosphere of japan town life here is real man authentic listen in on shady tiger claws deals taking place right outside your window watch the endless streams of people <laughs> down to the local casino style houses at all hours of the night sounds alluring right no it doesn't well at least the neighborhood's clean personally i'll give it a solid four on ten bought that shit <laughs> two more Corpo Plaza, baby. 55K. Bought it without reading it. Now let's read it. An exceptionally stylish luxury home nestled in the very heart of Night City. This exclusive suite offers an expensive, breathtaking view and a high quality neo militaristic interior guaranteed to satisfy even the most demanding taste. Here at Easy Estates, we know image is imperative. So make your home here today and make all your rivals at the Corp drop dead with jealousy. Emma easy estates and then finally we got the Glen. Forty thousand. now i bought it i just spent like two like 150 000 of my in-game cash that i don't even know how much i had on houses when it comes to style you never cut corners you feel like you own the city but ugh, the sights and smells of the downtown holy pulley fill you with how to put it deep and sincere revulsion if you see yourself in that description then we see you in this apartment our functional lifestyle suite combines the latest in organic interior design with a splash of signature night city style the result a harmonious comfortable oasis where you can kick back after a long day and take care of what matters most in this world you honestly if i had the eddies I'll be the first one in line to rent this place. So what are you waiting for? Emma, Easy Estates. That's fire. Why? Because, like, in general, the copywriting in this game is ridiculous, and those felt like authentic ads in line with the game. Oh, my so, gosh. <clears throat> look look at these makeover options. There's a, there's a thing. All right. Well, Let's just see how much money I have before I blow all my money on, on makeover. I mean, options. you can just reload the game, man. Yeah, but I want to see how much money I have right now so I can gauge it. Oh, I have 222,000. I'm fucking rich. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's buy the Cornado Twilight. Let's see how this works. Woo! What changed? Uh, what the lighting, that? the floor stuff. There's a variety. Did you see any change or did we just like load the... Oh, the bed looks a little different. I'm not, I'm not certain this is my favorite. Like, no, I feel like this is more like the default one. Like, we just paid for what we had. Okay, let's check the next one. I like the fact that we can use the computer without zooming in. Let's try Lunar Tranquility, everyone. Yeah, the lighting definitely changes. That's the, the biggest change. So the floor is still kind of the same. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say I'm fully impressed. I'm just saying it's it's a little ambiance. I'm not noticing any big changes here. Oh, the bed changed. Bed definitely. I guess it's the lighting. There's a little purple thing over there. Let us know so, what your favorite one is, people of the world. The couch changed color. Did it? Okay, so it's a gray couch. So let's try it with California Max. Yeah, this the tiles changed color. The couch is now blue. Kind of like this one. Oh. Okay, so it's like the paints and stuff update and the bed updates. Yeah, not the whole thing. It's in the it's just this. Yeah. All right. Let's check out the next one. Neon Sands. So, uh, one of the things that they're talking about the crowd improvements in the patch notes is that there's okay. certain NPC archetypes that will go into combat with you. So one of the things you can start doing is possibly figuring out which NPCs are the ones likely to go aggro on you I like this based one, on James. how they look. That's super helpful. See y'all, you'll get facts from James while I marvel at art. <laughs> <clears throat> Actually, this is my favorite one so far. Okay. This the one, dude. This the... I, oh, look at the fucking bachelor pad. Leopard print purple. 
this the one everybody so far my favorite but then we have to go check out our other cribs because which crib is our favorite crib is the real question they've modified the way you handle um uh, driving in numerous ways like you can have to burn out there's braking has been changed if you mm, this get into like a line. fender bender with an enemy or not uh, like an npc they might react differently although now uh one thing to mention about Keep judy's on. place is they've actually made it so that depending on the circumstances if you go to sleep in one of the romantic relationships houses you you may have additional wah, wah, wah time I don't get it. Didn't I buy a whole bunch of house? Or do I probably have them in gigs or some shit? Ah, oh, man, dude. I actually have to fucking, like, do quests. Go there for the first time. Okay, y'all. Yeah. We, we fucked this up, but we got some graph. We got some shit. We got to see... Oh, wow, dude. Look at the clarity of the magazines. That's really dope, dude. We're gonna have, like, Dave. fucking twice the fun on this shit, man. They've okay, rebalanced so waste the time. all I'm the damage over crib. time effect. Sorry, everybody. Waste of time. Waste of time, indeed. Now we actually have to fucking go to our north side home, which is far. Yeah, dude, all the graph looks fucking clear as... Oh, hey. Here's an interesting one for you. They've oh. added a, a uh, quieter way to escape the NCPD. When the heat is on, instead of fleeing a certain distance from the most recent crime scene, you can actually opt to just hide within the search area. It'll take longer for the cops to go away, but you don't necessarily have to run from them and just hope that you don't get killed them. Fair. I'm just trying to get to the fucking house properly so we can have that part of the video be proper. Oh, snap! Yo, I'm having breakfast sausages for tonight because everything's too fucking expensive in life. Oh shit, the cops is on the radar shooting at me, dog. Look at that. You'll see it in a few seconds. You, uh, gonna eat your sausages with Dijon mustard, my dude? Not in the least. I don't understand what the fuck just happened. I got away from the cops while the cops were shooting at me? I'm, I'm confused as fuck. Or is this just like unrelated? This is just like shit's going on. Who's shooting at what? Oh crap, it's just I don't a know. random it was just a random shootout came out. This has nothing to do with me, dude. Yeah, that that like I said, crowd interactions have been completely revamped. Gangs and I am not prepared for this fight, dog. Not prepared. It looks like they've changed various things with how... So hold on, yeah, that's the fight where I chose to get him before and I was mistake. I mean, again, you haven't spec this character, you have no perks. I know. know there's no fucking specking happening, but now I'm actually at my house. So now we're doing it properly. So what we saw was there was a gang fight on one side of the house. Crazy amount of graph on this side. Oh, it's in this place with like the the two layer hotel shit. There you go. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, can we go upstairs here? No. How the fuck do we get to our crib? Oh, we gotta go all the way up here. So we get up the stairs. Okay, we got our crib. Let's take a look around. Literally, dude, there's gunshots. Yep. There's going to be different interactions so in stash each apartment. Is here. And your stash is going to be displayed differently. Like, everything's, everything's going to be a fairly unique experience. Oh, cool. We have one of those video apartment. games we can't play. But at least we can watch people play it. We got a bunch of books on the bed. That's cool. It's a little nerdy. Um... We got our computer, some messages. Oh, some NPCs now are going to have the optical camo ability, so they'll be able to turn invisible. So it feels like there might even be a quest associated with this place, right? Because there's a missing friend. Um, 
there's gonna be stuff that you have to discover in the city. Oh, you basically, find, yeah. So somebody, so it alludes that there's a quest possibly related to somebody returning to the house now that you bought it because they just don't know what happened to the previous tenant. That's actually as wild, dude. It's wild. All right, so that's house one. I don't think there's much more to explore in it. Let's go check out house two. There's different, uh, did you go through all the interactions? Like in Japantown, apparently you can play the uh, guitar. Yeah, but there wasn't like anything. This is the shittiest house, bro. There's like a vending machine thing you can't play. We'll double check it, but, oh, I guess you're right. I didn't actually look over here, seeing some stuff in the house. But there's no real, like, interactive stuff. It's just decorative. Hmm. Oh, wait, what's there's that? Supposed no. to be some oh, new there's supposed there's a bathroom. I didn't even check the bathroom, guys. I was too premature the first time, so... I guess that's cool. We don't need to really do it. It's not as fancy as the bathroom in our other apartment. Fair. I think this place is checked out. Let's go to the next place. Upon which apartments and we'll check out japan town because it felt like that was the next appropriate one this time we're going to call up a motorcycle though because I mean, oh the motorcycles uh you hit i think the e key on your keyboard when you're using a motorcycle uh you'll be able to change the color of the neon rims i don't know where my car went Ah, there it is. This year's Federalist Party National Convention. I don't see that President happening. I don't have, maybe I just don't have colored rims on this one. For another term. Uh, I mean, it's also not nighttime, so you won't necessarily see it. Sends a clear message of the president's I also may be wrong on what he is. For unification on Judy just sent me a text. I'm not reading That's all awesome. the new content. But there is new content. I am very excited. To primarily Judy related. But apparently there's also like additional uh, stuff that happens uh, during game events. So, well, I assume like, that all, like at this point. If you're only point, doing it all at the end of the game, you're not necessarily going to get all of the different stuff because it requires like. You know, like when you call people after certain missions, there's like these dialogue sometimes. Yeah. Dude, you are oh, my a five new vehicle. Yeah, I'm not good. But also, they changed all the driving mechanics, so I'm not comfortable either. I wouldn't want to drive oh, using What did I just do? Um, yeah, um, Whoa, I didn't even die. <laughs> Did I yeah, kill somebody? You, you crashed. Uh, you landed on somebody and your weight looks to have killed them. Uh, I'm not blind, no. <laughs> this is a hilarious to... chase me. You're like down at the docks, dude. Well, I fell. Now I'm hoping that the cops don't catch me. Yeah, I don't think the cop can see me right now. We're testing out the hiding mechanic. It'll just take longer for them to go away. Let's see, um, they've changed how enemy AI will reposition to more tactically advantageous locations. And they've changed when you're like, you know, like the missions where you're hanging out with like Judy or Pan Am or River and you got to go shoot some people. Yeah. Uh, they've changed how your followers handle their, uh, their shooting to a more okay. accurate, cool. less useful. Yeah, no. What? How? It just... How how could this guy still want me? Oh, because he might... That's crazy. I lost the worm, but that particular one still wants me. 
found. Well, that's cool, man. That's actually like a worth it improvement to point out. Let's see. Um, Who the fuck is we? this guy? What's your story? Who are you? I have many names. I don't know. The Dustman, the Warthog. But is he in your apartment? Names. In truth, no. I'm just a free man making his way on the edge. I probably just never I explored this part of town at any point in the game, to be honest. I don't even know where the fuck I am. Here is one of the most interesting lines in the patch notes. Increased visual complexity of enemy combat behavior. That's just interesting. Increased visual complexity of enemy behavior. Yeah, so it, I guess that just means like they've increased the variety of animations. Um, I don't really know how I'm supposed to get to where I'm going. Okay, I now know where. I have to go across the bridge. Let's see. Yeah, they've changed a bunch of stuff with how hacking works. A lot of it's really minimal stuff. I don't think it really come into play often for us. Um, just like smoothing out rough edges where the game felt incomplete. Like you could previously use the cyber psychosis quick hack on cyber psychos, you know, forcing them into cyber psychosis, which they already are. So now they've they've turned that off, for instance. So they've adjusted how the okay, game. I'm confused. Where the fuck does the game want me to go here? Aren't you in Chinatown? Like little China, not Japantown. Right to figure now. This out. But now that I can jump off of ledges and fucking wow, I just bled. I can at least get to Japantown. That was very stressful. I got confused by the line. Maybe I should pull up a car. So, bonus items found in Stash. The two DLC jackets and the four registration reward no! items. Oh! That's how new functionality. Not That's what I was hoping for. Rough fall, dude. Big rough, rough fall. fall. I'm not happy. I don't you know like that. I don't even know what I'm I am. I'm going to eat some ice cream while we're going okay. at this. Well, That's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to follow the Japan Town directions properly, and I'm not going to fuck around, and I won't crash. So, yeah, let's see. They lowered the health of the opponents in Beat on the Brats, except for the twins, but the twins can now block and or evade attacks instead of only attacking, so their difficulty is based more on skill now. Instead of it being based on just like pure aggro. This is the century. This is the century. Very stressing. Almost on the way to Japan Town. Oh, I fucking missed the get out of <laughs> And it looks like they fixed NPC behavior during several boss fights. So it seems like the actual boss fights are going to be more unique Hard. and interesting now. Hard might not be the appropriate word. Because a lot of what patch notes are for this game is about creating a better sense of balance. Hard oh, seems oh. like hey, the wrong word. look at that. Some bad shit's going on. Uh, we're here everyone. Let us get ready to check out our new crib. Look, this is the building of the new crib. We'll go out the outside and see what we can find. There's some gang shit going on in the back. No? Actually, what is happening back here? You're like laughing and stuff. Oh, it's just this guy. <laughs> Okay, so we'll go around the building now and see what we can find. Where's the front door? This is the front. 
of our little building, and there's not a lot else happening here. So right away, there's like a little thing down here, so let's check that out. Can we not use it? No. Uninteractable. Alright, oh, this has like a whole like... Oh, I just like got into a hostile area by pissing people off. So this whole building's got a whole vibe to it. I don't know if we were able to come in here before, to be honest. Um, let's go up the elevator. Like, yeah? Upper level or apartment? Let's go to the apartment. The apartment's more Just constantly the sound of somebody getting beat, you know? Anything else in here? Oh, cool. All kinds of oh. shit. So I guess we can go all the way up if we want. Don't make trouble. Or not. Be we can't go all the way, all the way up. Do you hear the constant sounds of somebody getting stabbed? Nah, bro. Uh, I have to have the audio muted on your screen. Uh, so here's the guitar. There we go. Let's do it. Oh, we have choices. We can play Archangel. Archangel is the song that you used to only have as, like, instrumental. That they have now had uh, lyrics added to. Uh, it hasn't hit Spotify yet, so I hope they put that out on Spotify. Playing the little songs. This is kind of cool. I mean, it makes sense if there's a rock legend in our head, eh? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're done playing. We're gonna go look around now and see what's in our little apartment. A little Japan, a little mask there. So we have some, oh, we can burn incense. Mm -hmm. That's cool. What does that do for us? And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but they do apply some temporary buffs. You do a lot of these. Oh, we can open our window. That, that wasn't even playing. It was like, you can open your window. And there's like a view of a tree. <laughs> Just popping around. Well, I wanted to get the shot. Okay, our bathroom's whatever. Oh. Nothing that special in the bathroom. So, Let's check the this following one. perks have been entirely redesigned Blood Swell, Human Shield, Epimorphosis, Cold Blood, Coldest Blood, and Cut. So, the cold blood tree in the, in the cool category is extremely modified. Oh, cool. The stash room's over here. Kind of looks like this. Smart rifle, weapon on it. Oh! We got a whole ass lore book thing. Y'all yeah, can pause that and read that if you want, but that's cool. A little added value. Oh, another one. Ah, oh, it's the same one. Then we got our bed, where we got the little halo looking poster, some more stuff. Cool. Oh, oh we got another view. It's like, our thing opens, and we can just... That's nice. That's cool. Well, I think this place is explored. On to the next apartment, which would be... We'll save the Corpo Plaza for the last, I think. Let's go to the Glen. Oh. Oh. Hey. 
Alright, alright. You know what we're gonna actually do this time? Just for the sake of saving time, we're going to actually just fast travel. <laughs> Like, why are we going to kill ourselves here? Here's a cool feature for you. V is now able to vault, climb, jump, or sprint through glass that has already been fractured. All right. So instead of getting stuck on broken glass, you can just, like, push through it. So this is the... This is our it. Glen building. Yeah. Oh, that's our Glen building, as you can see as I fall. It's at the corner of Los Lobos. It's on Los Lobos. It's really just a big ass corporate looking ass building. Let's see if we can go around. There's a little inside over here. Wow, it's like there's is definitely more NPCs. Different stuff mm -hmm. over here. I feel like I'm just gonna save capturing the graph for when we get here. And different times of day feature different crowds of NPCs. Because they're going to be wearing different stuff, acting differently in daytime and nighttime, you know. Like a real suit. There's a whole like back of the building area. Looks cool. Little machines. Let's go inside and check out our new home. Oh, increase building price, increase lobby. Some pie, some alcohol I stole, a max stock. That's cool. I don't remember what gang is down here. That is the, uh, gosh, Valentino's, the Spanish. Hmm. That's a nice detail. Like scratch shit into the door. Oh wow, it just opens into my apartment. Holy shit, dude. Maybe we should have come here last. Damn, this is nicer already. It's got like layers to this shit. What is this? Brew coffee? Mmm, coffee. I wish. Oh, wow. I got all these boosts going on. Yeah, like I said, different. Uh, Dude, different there's actions a whole in alcohol collection. <laughs> That's the meat here. here. I know, James. It's bad. You don't get the fun. I'm pretty bummed, dude. I spent... I, I had my PS4 on, download the version oh, in there. I can play pool! Like, oh, damn. I told hey. you to get that game, bro. I found it for you. I said, cop that shit. Yeah, and I did it as soon as I could. Considering Ooh. I can't play my friggin' corrupted what is install. this option? It's a record player with a fucking one of their records. Oh my gosh, dog. The big ass TV. Oh. And you just see like the shot of the tower. And then we got our little computer. This is a nice crib. I like this crib better than the other cribs. Have you been to Corpo Plaza yet? Uh, no. That's the last one we're gonna hit. 
the most expensive yeah, you, one, I think. So you can actually customize the homes that you get here, which is... Uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to go last, because it's the most expensive. Oh, cool. So we have a little reading lounge. And, like, books and shit. That's fucking ill. I'm taking a fucking shot of this. <laughs> For, like, the eight friends I've made on Cyberpunk Graph. Oh, this is nice. The stash room is kind of cooler, bigger, more ambient. Gives you a max stock. That's a little better. And then we go up here. We get like the loft at lo lofty like feel of the thing. Oh, we have drugs this time. Damn, I would I could deal with a loft like this. That's a bathroom. No, I didn't want to look in the mirror. But what the hell? Why do I look like fucking Johnny? Because sometimes when your head is glitching out and you look in the mirror, you look like Johnny. Ah. <coughs> That's fair. All right, y'all. We have one more crib to investigate on our investigate the cribs quest. And that's at the Corpo Plaza. And then, I don't really think there's anything else to really like. Like, why are we gonna go check out new guns now? That's not that interesting. Well, I mean, it's kind of interesting, but I feel like... I'd have to respect my character to use the guns. <laughs> so, in light of that, it's less of an interesting idea. All right, so we're leaving the lobby, and instead oh, of hey, this is they added a new notification with the song's name when it starts playing on the radio, so you can actually figure out what song you're vibing to. And now we're heading to the last house, everyone, in the Corpo Plaza, and then we will be finished our house tour and slight look at the new everything that's not combat. Do a little aesthetic and shit. Ferris <laughs> Boulevard. So let's look outside. Oh wow, that's a huge ass building. Let's get a view from like back here. That's where we have a home now. Woo! Some shenanigans going on over here, but we don't want to interfere with them. Uh, let's take a look around the outside, see if there's anything interesting in what we've been doing. Probably not, no. It's a big ass fucking building though. Can we go in on this side? Nah, that would have been too cool for school. Unless we could. Oh shit, not good. Oh no, V's tripping. You might be able to climb up it. Oh, we live in the back of a bar. This is one of the bar places. I don't remember what bar this is. Empathy? Remember that bar? No, I don't. I don't remember that one. Fair. So we live over here next to a club that's pretty empty because it's daytime. So let's run around and do like the full of our building. See it that way. I think this is all still one at big ass building, right? So this is our one that we live in, which is attached to a club. This is the other side. There's some car over here, probably some bad stuff about to happen. As we cruise. Um, now we're going to oh nice. A little side entrance to the club over here. But yeah. There, we live over here. Perfect. So we live like right next to the subway. Travel from Chicago to Night City. This is very similar to the last entrance where we went into, but arguably it's not that different parts of town. And there's a gold plated lady over there. Lots of advertisements. Ooh, mailboxes. That's cool. I'm like, oh damn, this cough. A little, sad, a little bit camera. hard. Oh, I didn't even think to check that. No, this is a pointless civilian. All right, let's go up to our apartments. And I think then that will be done with this part of it. Oh, 
Oh, oh, excuse me. Apologies about the cough. Oh, this time we have a neighbor. That's actually really nice. Delamain. Oh, the yeah. cab company. Oh, we can't go over there. We can only go to our apartment. But that's still an illusion of bigness. Okay. Let's see what we're up against in here. First, we'll check out this living room area. We have the choice to sit on a couch, some basic ass soda. Check out the computer and see if there's anything here. Hmm. We have neighbors who fuck butt naked. Cool. What a weird thing to find out. Mm, they had an orgy. Oh, fab. Get invited. Well, I want to figure out what he's seeing, because I don't know if they copied all of us. Oh, we can do something here. So cool. What are we doing? Oh, we have tea. Let me drink it. Yeah, I mean, you would. That's they the even point did of the, like, sideways cup shit. But like, I have to take all this shit so I can see the command properly, you know? Yeah, it's drink tea. Ah, we can also bruise coffee over here. So let's drink some coffee in our other coffee machine. This one's very quick. It's an espresso. It's not like the other one. But we have the full ass coffee ass looking machine here. Okay, cool. Little mini bar. Um, oh, we got a record player. A little bedroom. Arguably, the other one was nicer, and it's weird that this one costs more, but I guess that's how real life works. Well, it's also the neighborhood you're in. Yeah. You're in a corpo tower, and uh, the aesthetic and decor and everything is very, like, Arasaka corpo. Fair. All right. I think everybody watching, this was super fun with regards to looking at our house tour. Let us know which of the houses you thought was your favorite in the Cyberpunk update for 1.5 and all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Have fun, everyone.